Hello friends and welcome to Virtual Storytime at the Chippewa River District Library. Will you join me in singing the hello song? Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. In today's program we are talking all about great apes. And I've had a special friend come join me to help me tell you a little bit more about apes. Can you introduce yourself, friend? Yeah. Hello, everyone. I'm Katrina, and I am a primate keeper here at the Memphis Zoo. Hello, Katrina. Can we all say hello? Wow, thank you for joining us to tell us all about great apes. Can you start off by telling us what is a great ape? Great apes are primates that have big brains and do not have tails. Great apes include things like gorillas, like Penny here behind me, and orangutans, chimpanzees, and bonobos, and of course, humans. That's right, both you and I are great apes. What, I am a great ape? That is so cool. Well, I can't wait to learn more about one of the animals we as humans have the most in common with. To start off, I thought we would read a story. I have a great story time book for you today called Goodnight Gorilla. Before we dive into this book on gorillas, let's hear from Katie on what real gorillas are like. Gorillas are great apes. They are the largest of the great apes. They are found in the rainforest in Africa. They are vegetarians. Their favorite food is leaves. Here you see Mwailu, our male gorilla, and Penny. Male gorillas are known as silverbacks and they are the leaders of the group. Mwailu weighs almost 400 pounds. Awesome. Now that we've learned about some real life gorillas, we can read our story. Good night, gorilla. Good night, gorilla. Oh no. What is that gorilla up to? Yikes, it looks like that gorilla has taken the zookeeper's keys and he's escaped his cage. Oh no! Good night, elephant. Hmm, what is that sneaky gorilla up to now? Good night, lion. <gasps> the elephant's out now too! Oh no, and what is he doing? He's gonna let out the lion. Good night, hyena. Good night, giraffe. Look at all of these animals that are out now. The elephant and the lion and the hyena and the giraffe. Oh my goodness, who knows what will happen. To find out what happens, you can check this book out from the library. I'll put a link in the description below on how to check it out from our library. It's time to sing, and I've brought my friend Gorilla here just like from the story Goodnight Gorilla to help me do a song with a gorilla in it. This song has a rhythm element to it. We're going to be keeping a beat together. You can do this by beating on your chest like a gorilla. Or if you would prefer, you can grab something to help you keep the rhythm. You might use rhythm sticks or even some wooden spoons that you can hit together to make a rhythm. And we're gonna get started, here we go. Boom diddy boom diddy boom boom boom. Boom diddy boom diddy boom boom boom. Down in the jungle where nobody goes, there's a great big gorilla washing his clothes with a scrubber on the trees and a scrubber on the rocks. That's the way he washes his gorilla socks. Boom diddy boom diddy boom boom boom. Boom diddy boom diddy boom boom boom. Down in the jungle where nobody goes, there's a great big gorilla washing his clothes with a scrubber on the leaves and a scrubber on the dirt. That's the way he washes his gorilla shirt. Let's do one more verse. Boom diddy boom diddy boom boom boom. Boom diddy boom diddy boom boom boom. Down in the jungle where nobody goes, there's a great big gorilla washing his clothes with a scrubber dubber here and a scrubber dubber there. That's the way he washes his underwear. Awesome job, friends. Thank you for doing that rhyme with me. And thank you. It's time to write. Grab a pen or a pencil, and we're gonna write the word ape. Okay, here we go. As always, I wanna remind you that any attempt at writing is a good attempt. 
even if you're not getting it perfect, you're practicing your pre-writing skills just by watching. All right, we're gonna start with a capital, what letter is this? A, it's a capital A, a lowercase p, look at that p, it goes even below my line, way down here, and an e. A, p, e, ape, ape. This next song has lots of different animals, and one of them is an orangutan, which is a type of great ape. Before we jump into our song, let's hear a little bit from Katrina the zookeeper about orangutans. One type of great ape are orangutans. Orangutans are arboreal, which means that they live in the trees. So orangutans are great climbers. Orangutans live on the islands of Borneo and Sumatra. Rowan, who is our baby boy, he's four years old, is always learning new behaviors from his mom and coming up with new behaviors of his own. Whoa, so interesting. All right, are you ready for our song? See if you can follow along with the motions as I do it. There was a crocodile and a orangutan, a flying eagle and a silvery fish, a bunny, a beaver, a crazy elephant. Na 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 na. Good job, friends. Thank you for doing that song with me. Okay, it's time for yes or no trivia. And today we're going to have some special help from Katrina the zookeeper. So I'm going to ask you a yes or no question. I want you to tell me, yes, you think the answer is correct, or no, you don't think the answer is correct. And then Katrina will tell us the correct answer. First question, are monkeys great apes? Hmm. If you think, yes, monkeys are great apes, give me a thumbs up. And if you think, no, monkeys are not great apes, give me a thumbs down. The answer is no. Katrina, can you tell us why? Monkeys are not great apes and great apes are not monkeys. So great apes are bigger than monkeys and they do not have tails. So monkeys have tails, great apes do not. Okay, second question. Are great apes smart? If you think, yes, great apes are very smart animals, give me a thumbs up. If you think, nah, they're not that smart, give me a thumbs down. The answer is yes, great apes are very smart, and Katrina is gonna tell us all about why. Great apes are very smart. Like I talked about before, great apes have large brains. So they all have individual personalities, they know what they want, they can figure things out. So here at the zoo, we give them enrichment to make sure that they're using those big brains to work out puzzles and toys and try and figure things out. Final question. Can we communicate with great apes? Hmm. If you think, yes, we can communicate with great apes, give me a thumbs up. If you think, no, we can't communicate with great apes, give me a thumbs down. Hmm, which do you think? The answer is yes, we can. And here's Katrina to tell us why. Yes, we can communicate with great apes. Primates are very, very intelligent because they have large brains. So even though our gorillas here can't speak English, I can still communicate with them. So they know what I'm asking for, even though they can't speak English. They can read my body language and know what I'm saying. Well, we've learned so many cool things about great apes, especially gorillas and orangutans. Thank you so much to Katrina and to the Memphis Zoo for being a part of our program today. And if you're ever in Memphis, Tennessee, you should check out the Memphis Zoo. Not only do they have great apes, but they have lots of different interesting animals that you can learn about and see for yourself. All right, it's time for the goodbye song. Unfortunately, our program has come to an end. Can you sing with me? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. 
Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. See you next time.